very addictive game, you know what I mean? When you have winners, all you need, all you want is to have more winners and more winners, you know? My name is Brendan Powell. I train in uh, Newland Stables in Lambourne and Berkshire. I started riding point to points when I was 14 years of age and uh, built up from there, came to uh, England in 1978 and started working there firstly as an amateur jockey and uh, basically progressed from there and Touchwood had a very good career riding. I was actually in another yard. When I packed up, I, I built a yard down in Winchester uh, called Morstead Stables. I was there for six years and it was great, but we outgrew it. There was only 35 stables there. And as we were having success, we were getting more horses. So um, I rented this place seven years ago, uh, 2006 or 2007. And we came here and I mean, there's 98 stables. And when we came here, it was full. And then in 2008, when the recession hit, we actually went down to about 20 horses. But lucky enough, we've built it up again now to, we've probably got 45 at the moment. So, um, um, you know, we're, we're having a good season and, uh, you know, we've progressed more seasons as well. Riding is a lot harder. I mean, riding was easier. You rode the horses, end of the month, you got your check. You got off the horses and you walked away. Uh, and this side of it, it's, it's basically sort of 24 hours with them. So, um, no, but I've always wanted to train and, uh, I mean, I did. I, I retired in June 2000 from riding and basically started training straight away. And as soon as I started training, touch wood, we, yeah, it, it took a while to build up the yard, but, uh, you know, we, we've had a great success in the last 13 years. But so I've all, I've, you know, some, as I said, something I've always liked and I've always enjoyed it. Uh, it does have its ups and downs, but uh, more ups than downs, really. At first, I'll pull out a seven, and then second lot. Normal days about a quarter past eight, then have a bit of breakfast for 20 minutes, and then third lot is usually around 11 o'clock. So it fits in with the times that they'll they'll close the gallops for 20 minutes, but each gallop's got a different time, so um, so they can get the tractors on there and harrow it and have a nice surface for the next one. So it takes about 20 minutes to do each gallop. We put our first lot at seven, and uh, you know even in the winter we put out at seven. Even if, you know first lot is usually dark, but um, horses always go quicker in the dark. Well, they always look like it. <laughs> so, uh, but no, we we'll, yeah we do sort of it's usually three or three and a half lots. Am I trying to do that on the grass with him on Saturday?
I mean, it is hard for girls, but I mean, there's some good girls riding at the moment. You've got the likes of Hayley Turner, um, Kirsty Mills, who rides for me, um, Kathy Gannon. I mean, uh, you know, Amy Ryan, there's some very good girls out there riding. And jumping wise, Lucy Alexander is sort of, she's actually leading the apprentice over jumps table at the moment. So, uh, and my son Brendan is actually third to her. So, you know, she's, there's some good riders out there. And I think, I mean, when I started, there was a lot of, people sort of against women riders, um, always saying they want stronger, etc. But, you know, I use a lot of the girls, I mean Hayley Turner, Kirsty, they've all ridden me winners and I've no I've no qualms about putting them on. So I think nowadays it's it's, it's a lot different. I mean, most sports is the same, isn't it? My name's Kirsten Mojarek and I'm a flat jockey. My brother was a jump jockey and I used to show you jump and when that came to an end he suggested I come and ride out but because I was lighter. Then obviously a lot of the jump jockeys, I went into a flat yard and kind of took off like that. I was on the Great Britain squad, show jumping for 10 years, so yeah, it was kind of, uh, I didn't really, I, I don't really know how to do anything else, to be, to be fair. If it doesn't involve horses, it kind of mind boggles me a bit, but you know, I, I enjoy it and it was kind of, uh, it was a nice thing to fall into. It's been quite successful, so it was quite a, you know, it's quite a nice accident to have. Yeah, I've been good friends with Brendan for, for five or six years now. Um, started riding for him back then too. You know, he doesn't have so many runners on the flat. Um, I don't have all that many rides for him, but you know, when opportunities come up, it's yeah, he's a good friend, to, good friend to me. He's a good friend to me. I had a hard time last year, um, so you know, it's just loyalty really, and you know, good friendship. But we get on great, and um, you know, it's good fun here as well. The guys, good team here, and the horses are happy, and he's having plenty of winners, which which you know shows what the atmosphere is like in the yard. It was quite sexist, um, but it's got a lot better over the kind of past five or six years. Um, when myself and Hayley started, it was quite tough, but um, you know, I think we've broken down quite a few barriers now, and it's making it easier for the girls behind us. You know, it was quite tough for us, but it's getting a lot easier for the girls that are coming in now. I always say to people, and especially to owners, that when you, if you've got a runner in a race, if, if you go to racing like today, we're going to Warwick, if there's 100 runners, there's going to be six winners, six seconds, six thirds, that's only 18 uh, out of 100. And if you've got one of those, you're very lucky. <laughs> I have quite a few like injuries that niggle me, but nothing, just wear and tear, but nothing too major. I've <laughs> got five rides later. <laughs> it's probably commonly known that jockeys will get back quicker than anything. I mean, I broke an arm in a national, I rode 10 days later. Um, I broke my femur twice and uh, tibia, fibia. Uh, Bones wise it was all right, but when you got internal injuries it was always the worst because some of them you think they're career threatening. Um, I think it was back in, was it 93 or something, a ruptured a spleen, had that removed. And then back in 2000, the fall that I actually finished my career was at Newton Abbott where a horse fell on me and I broke every rib on that side, an old bar to that side and punctured both lungs. So. I was in intensive care for what, 10 days on a life support machine. Um, I came back riding after that for about three months, but never felt the same, you know. You know, there are some owners that they're, 
you know, if a horse runs bad, they do get very disappointed and grumpy. But um, you know, you just got to understand that you know the races will come along. If the horses aren't good enough, you'll find races for them. And as a jockey, nobody likes getting beat, but you can't win every time. The weight system is a, it works on a handicap system. So the when you're riding a handicap, the better the horse, the higher its handicap, so the more weight it'll carry. To perhaps a, a you know a horse lower in the handicap, which could be well handicapped or could just actually be at its limit. So its kind of top weight is um, is eight twelve for fillies and top weight for colts is nine three. You know, before I came into racing, I was nine and a half stone. So I sit. I sit now in the winter when I'm not so busy and I kind of eat what I want to eat and you know give my body a break I will sit at eight and a half stone which is kind of staying under the kind of body weight I was happily at before but when the summer kicks in I'll, ne I'll lose another half a stone and be down to eight stone. It's hard, the older you get the harder it is but that's you know that's just the walk of life that's the way it is with everybody but it's just, just unfortunately in my it's my industry and my living that depends on you know what weight I wake up on in the morning and if I have a row with the scales or not. I, mean, I won the national in 88 and um, you know it was a buzz it's it was so long ago I can hardly remember it now you know the actual day itself but actually training a winner is a bigger buzz than riding it and I don't know what that is and everybody that's trained that's ridden and trained said the same thing every winner is a trainer you know it's a bigger buzz than riding them I just think I think you probably when you're riding a lot of winners as a jockey you take a lot of the everyday winners for granted but uh, I think when you're training them, it's uh, you don't. You know, you just think that to get a horse to the race is in one piece, and um, it's it's uh, you know that's a feat in itself. I think.